Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to do an easy make snippet journal. But first, let's have our shout out to Art Junkie, Sherry, Maddie, Judy, Barbara, Catherine, Juju, Bonnie, Begin, and Jane. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I have a piece of file folder and I have collaged on it. I've used different types of book page and some music papers. I also have a piece of a snippet roll. I outlined it with my Sharpie marker and so now it looks like this. This one happens to be approximately six and a half by two and a half. So six and a half by two and a half. So I think if we fold this collage paper to a three, approximately three inches, that will give us what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and let's just fold this over to three. This is going to be a little bit more. That's going to be all right. That'll give us enough to trim it if we need to. So we're just going to fold it here. Now look, this has come up and it's kind of cracked a little. That's going to be all right. Even though it's cracked a little, we can make that work and we're not going to have to worry about that at all with how we're going to fix that. So I'm just trimming this just like this. And now what I would like to do is bring in my snippet. And I'm just going to see, okay, so it's like this. Do I want this side or do I want maybe this side? Oh, this side's more interesting. Let's use this side, although I'm trimming it down. I really like that top there. Let's trim it off the bottom. So if we have it like this, if we place it on here like this, and I trim this, I'm counting, maybe right here, that would be about the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it over to my guillotine. I'm going to trim this off right here. I'm going to make this straight and this straight in case it's not, and then we'll continue. All right, so I've got this evened up fairly nice. The next thing I'd like to do is open it up and I'm going to place my chosen paper inside. So this is gonna be the inside of the journal. And this happens to be from the journal boat and it's the, the um, grouping entitled Timeless Sunflower Kit. Okay, so I really don't think there's a right or a wrong way to put this on. So I'm just going to get my Tombow glue, and I'm hoping I fix my issue of it not coming out. I don't know why it doesn't want to come out of this one, and I have not fixed my issue. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch. Oh, I have no glue left here. <laughs> Hang on just a second. Okay, I think I fixed my problem with my glue. And I'm just going to place some glue right down here on all four sides of the inside of my little journal. And I'm gonna place a little bit down the middle. There we are. Now I'm just going to take my paper and there's no right or wrong to this paper. So I'm just going to Place it right on top and just press it down to make sure it gets stuck nicely. I'm going to go ahead and trim around the edge. This is straight even though it doesn't look it and it really doesn't look it. It's not either straight. Okay, I'm going to trim this and then I'm going to straighten this up. Okay. Okay, I've trimmed this up. I was just seeing if it still is going to fit nicely on here and it is. So we've got the front of our cover done and we've got the inside of our cover. So now what we want to do is bring in a little washi. And I am going to place this washi on the edges of my cover. This is going to finish the edges with a little washi and so the papers won't pull up. So I'm just going to put half of the washi on the outside and then roll it around for the inside. 
So now it looks just like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other three sides. All right, so now I have all the edges covered with washi, so it's so very nice. Now what I'm going to do, this is the inside, I'm just going to fold it, make sure it's folded correctly. There we are. Now, you know, as we were talking about before, I have a little bit of breakage of the paper. I'm going to, this is not quite folded correctly right here. Let me bring in my bone folder and make sure I get this folded correctly before we put the covering on it. There. That's much better. Now how are we about lining up? We're a little bit off, but it's not too bad. I think we'll be fine. All right, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring in a little bit of cotton fabric that has been frayed around the edge. And I'm going to bring in my fabric tack. I'm going to apply a little bit of fabric tack right down the folded side. So we'll get this down here like this my cap back on and set it in my lap while we get this placed. I'm just going to have a little tiny bit hang over the edge and I'm going to put half on and half off. That's about right. This is going to cover up the problem that we had with the pages cracking. It's also going to give it a little added touch. It's going to just make it look even cuter and it's going to reinforce the spine. So it's going to do quite a bit of things just by adding this little bit of cotton fabric along the spine. So I'm going to set that back right there. I'm just going to roll this over just like this. Alright, now what I'd like to do so I'm going to trim this, but I am going to leave just a little bit like I did on the other end. And I'm going to hold it while I pull the strings to fray this side as well. And I'm going to hold this one and then pull this a little bit more. And I'm holding it because I just put it on and it's wet and it's liable to move if I don't. All right, I'm liking how that looks. I think that looks beautiful. Now, we're going to need some papers for inside. We're already on the papers, guys. How exciting is that? So I have two coffee dyed papers, and I have two light yellow papers. And I am going to take them, and I'm going to fold. Now, this little booklet is just about three inches. So I think I'm going to fold this two and a half. So I'm taking one at a time, and I'm just going to fold this over. I'm going to line this up so I get it straight. Two and a half. So it's a little bit over, but we can always trim it. So there's two and a half. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other papers, and I'm going to fold them just like this, and then we'll continue. All right, you guys, so I've folded all the pages and I've placed them one inside the other and I'm going to go ahead and give this a trim. I'm just going to trim this off just like this. All right, we're going to save these. We're going to use some of them. Now I'm going to see how this is going to look in here. I think that's going to look fantastic, but I don't want it to be that long. So I'm going to mark it Let's see here. Let's mark it right here. So I'm going to take it to my guillotine and I'm going to cut it off right there so it will fit inside of our journal. All right, best buds. Now with these leftover papers, we're going to fold these exactly the same width as we have our longer ones. All right, so I have gone ahead and I have done that. So what I'd like to do now is just 
trim this off. So I'm going to paper clip it so it doesn't move on me. Just hopefully it doesn't move. <laughs> We're in hopes. Trim this off. And I'm thinking I might need to trim a little bit more. But before we do that, well, actually, no. I am going to make sure that this is going to be correct. Yeah, I need to trim a little bit more. Do you see? It's not quite straight. I'm going to take it to the guillotine. I'm going to straighten this up, and then we're going to do the next step. All right, that's much better. Now what I'm going to do is take the paper clips off, and I really like this yellow, or do I like, well I really like the yellow, but do I like, I think I like the darker for the first page. So we'll go the first page with this, and I'm going to put, let's change that completely up. We'll go like this. I think I like that. And then the next page, we'll put a short brown one in. Where's a short brown one? Right here. I have six. Short brown one, a long yellow one, a short brown one, a long. Did I cut them wrong? A long brown one. What on earth is happening? We don't have a long yellow one, do we? Okay. This is where we made um, okay, this, and then 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 this. That's what we'll do. How did we get all these extra? I think I cut a long yellow one in half. I think that's what I did, guys. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, so now we've all got that together. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going, well for heaven's sakes Kathy, before I had done that I wanted to round the corners. I am so discombobulated. You know you guys this is the second time I've made this video. I don't know what it is about this video but I get discombobulated over this one. Let's round these corners. Come on now Kathy. Let's get this done. Let's round the corners. It's chewing the corners. Just put them all in. There we go. That's better. All right. Now let's do all these. Just like that. Just like this. There we go. Now how about this one? I've got two others that I have made that I'm going to show you at the end. So I'm going to rearrange these again and we're going to get ready to sew it in. All right, I've got the pages inside, the signature inside the cover. I have a strip of paper, it's just copy paper. I've made it the length of the journal itself, at least I think I have, yes. Then I'm going to take it, I'm gonna fold it in half the long way. So let's do that. This is how I get my signature sewn in and my holes are evenly spaced because you don't want me to measure because then it would be all messed up. So we're going to fold it one more time. Okay. And then we're going to fold it one more time. Now you make sure that you've creased it very well. Okay. Then we're going to open it back up. And right where the creases intersect, I'm going to put a little dot. Just like that. Now we're going to place our template into our signature and we're going to attach it so it doesn't move. You don't want it moving around. Just like that. And I like to make sure that everything's in there all the way down to the crease all the way in. Now we're going to get our pokey tool and a little foam and we're going to sew it in. I have my pokey tool, I have a little bit of foam that was packing, and I have some 
twine, some sewing twine. And this is the way I measure it. I just say one, two, three, and then I just give it a little snip. You don't want to run out of your thread when you're sewing in your signature. So the next thing, oh, that just went into my tea, you guys. <laughs> okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to use our pokey tool and we're going to make a hole right where we made our dot. You want to keep your pokey tool straight up and down. I like to pinch this just a little bit, but you definitely want to keep this straight up and down and poke it on the all the way, well not all the way through, poke it about like that, okay? So that's one. This is two. And this is three. Just like that. All right, just a second. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. My daughter called and she thought I told her to call me, but I did not. <laughs> but anyway, so we have our holes. Now we have our thread and our needle. We're going to go in the middle hole. We're going to go in. It's going to come on out. And you're going to leave yourself a bit. You're going to go in one of the other holes. It does not matter which one you choose. You're going to bring it up. You're going to now take your needle. You're going to go in the furthest hole. All right. And it's going to go on down like that. Then you're going to go back in the middle hole. So here we go. And you want your needle to be on the opposite side of your string. Mine isn't. I'm going to have to pull my string over to be on the opposite side. And now I'm going to pull it through. So I need to make sure it's not caught on anything and that it's tight. So I'm going to pull it gently. There we go. I picked up the slack. I'm going to take my needle off and I'm going to knot it. Now I am not going to leave any dangles on this journal. I have another way that I'm going to add a few dangles to this journal and it's so, so cute. So I'm just going to tie this to finish this off and I'm just going to leave just a little bit just for just, just for a little, you know, something. You can tie it in a bow if you want. All right, let's take this off and let's go to the front again. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? This is so, so adorable. We've got our pages in, our signature is in. Now let's go ahead and let's work on the cover again. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring in our snippet because that's what we're using for our decoration. And let's see here. Do we want it this way or this way? I think I like it best this way. And I'm just going to get my Tombow glue and I'm going to place a generous amount of glue on my snippet and I'm just going to go around first all the way around it and then I'm going to fill in the center just like that. I don't want to be stenchy with my glue to get this glued on. Now let's decide exactly where it's going to go. Maybe something like this. I'm going to actually, yeah, something like this. I was going to see something, but I'm not going to do it now. It's got glue everywhere. Okay, let's get this attached. And to help it, I am going to put a little bit, or a few I should say, a few paper clips onto this to hold it in place. So I'm going to do that and then we'll I'll come back and we will put our our little thing that we're going to use to hang our dangles on. Oh my goodness, it's turning out so cute. 
All right, you guys, I have a little piece of cardstock. I'm going to fold this. Oh, what is this? Approximately an inch and a half. And I'm just going to give it a trim. I better bring in my guillotine and make sure that it's straight because, you know, I'm not very good at keeping getting things straight. Let's get it straight. And come on now. Okay. All right, that's going to be adorable on there. Now let's corner round right here. All right, I've got a corner round. I'm going to bring in my ink, and I'm just going to ink the edge in on the other side too. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a punch. Now let's see here. Um, maybe something like this. So let me go ahead and give this a little punch. So I'm just using my small little hole punch. All right, I've brought in my glue gun. We're going to glue these two pieces together. Just like that. All right, so it's nice and glued. Now, let's go ahead and remove all of our paper clips. Just like that. And let's decide where are we gonna place this? Maybe about right there. So I'm going to do that with my glue gun. Add some glue onto here, and I'm just kind of seeing where I want this. It'll be about right there. Hold it till it glues. I have a light bulb safety pin. I have a little tiny bee charm and a little gold gem. And I am going to attach that using my hole and my safety pin here. And I'm just going to place it right in the hole. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is that not adorable? It's absolutely precious, isn't it? Oh my goodness, and so quick and easy to make. And then look at this one. This one's beautiful as well. Oh my goodness, and inside it looks like this. And we've got a few blue pages. Oh my goodness, what lovely little journals and gifts that you could make. Quick and easy. It's not hard at all. You don't have to sew. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.